We just got some huge news regarding Nintendo's next console. So I wake up this morning and I see this message, which reads, This is Furukawa, president of Nintendo. We will make an announcement about the successor to the Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of the Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. And so, yeah, that means that the Switch to switch you switch whatever is probably not gonna make, have switch in the in the name because that's bad business it's it's gonna be announced soon but after that he also says that we will be holding a nintendo direct this june regarding the nintendo switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024 but please be aware that there will be no mention of the nintendo switch successor during that presentation so this gives us two key details obviously first we have a timeline of when the next console is going to be announced, and we also have a time period of which uh, we'll we have a, like basically a Nintendo Direct announcement. Uh, I mean, obviously there typically is one in June, but this this confirms that there will be one, and this kind of confirms that the next console will not be releasing in 2024 because it does say that there will be games in the latter half of. Uh, 2024 for the Nintendo Switch and there's gonna be no mention of the next system in that direct so that means that the Switch 2 or Switch whatever you call it is gonna be coming out in 2025 at the least maybe just maybe late uh, like around December late November of this year if it does release this year but most likely it will not be coming out in 2024 yeah so i just looked up what a fiscal year is because i'm not really like a i don't know much about business but apparently it's a point according to wikipedia here fiscal year is some is used in government accounting which varies between countries and for budget purposes it's also used for financial reporting by businesses and other organizations basically stuff for like stock investors to be ready to invest in the company so um uh, I'm looking it up for Japan. It says it starts at the beginning of the year and ends at the end of the year But for the United States, which is where Nintendo's like main audience is, I guess uh, That starts in July and ends in June. So that probably means that by June we will we'll get more information on uh, that that'll be when the switch switch uh, successors name will be revealed and all that and more information about it so that means there is two months we have a two month window of when uh, we'll hear about the information about the switch too which is really cool uh, unless of course they follow the um, the Japanese chart which starts in uh, January and ends in the other January but yeah hopefully they follow the American one that means it'll be announced in June but yeah so what are my predictions for this I don't know I don't like making predictions because I don't, I don't like looking at rumors but let's, let's just throw something out there for fun right my idea for this next system is that it's gonna be like a like something that you can put it, like it connects to the dock you know so it's kind of like the Wii U in a sense, where you have the main controller that's like a tablet, it's got a screen on it, whatever, but it also connects to a dock. And I'm going to say that the tablet itself is the console, it's like the Switch, but it can connect to a thing so you can have two screens at once, because I always thought that was that's really cool on the Wii U, it's one of my favorite features about it, because like you can even play like DS games on it too, which is really cool. I'm hoping they do something like that, if they don't do that, I my what my dream would be is them going back to home consoles and portable consoles but that's probably not gonna happen uh but the june direct i don't know what they're gonna announce in there probably some more ports and remakes uh if i had to guess like there's only one wii u game they haven't ported yet and that's yoshi's woolly world that did get a 3ds port back in like 2018 2019 ish um so yeah they, they'll, they'll probably port that over again but yeah, that's pretty much the last the last Wii U game they haven't done. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching this uh, this little news inf informative video on the next Nintendo console. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.